whole thing going stay in the rain. Fly ass guy, so I jump out the plane. I don't know why people be saying like rappers can't be gay, they can't be gay rappers or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But um. From what I'm hearing, like, there's a lot of people in, like, the, in the closets and shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, how you gonna say there can't be no gay rappers, you feel me? I'm not influencing nobody to be gay. I'm influencing people to love themselves, be themselves, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody doing nothing ratchet, you know? I'm just trying to keep it 100 with myself. I'm trying to keep it 100 with everybody else, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I came out like I did, you know? And the fag movement, the FAG, basically the reason why... Hold on, let me turn this on here. Basically, the reason why I came up with all that is because that was like my fear. Like, before I came out, that was like my fear. I ain't want to be called no fag or no shit like that. I ain't want to be called no fag or no queer or nothing like that, you know. So that's why it took me so long to come out. But, like, the fag, like, the whole idea for, like, the acronym of fag, F-A-G, like, I came up with that, like, about a year and a half ago, like, before I was even thinking about coming out. But... I had that just on the side, like you could check my phone. That, like I got all, I got write all my music on my phone, and like I had wrote that hook, the uh, F A G, all that. I had wrote that, like I wrote that like a year ago. It was like fly ass goon or something like that. But I had flipped the script and all that, then turned to the free and genuine. You know, shout out Rico. You know, switched it up to um, the free and genuine. You know, something more positive. Then I started to go with the positive vibe, you know, like spreading peace, stopping discrimination and all that. So like the fag movement, that's basically like to stop all the discrimination, like of the word fag. It made me, like it's in my head to where if somebody called me a fag, I'm be like, yeah, I know, I know I'm a fag. I'm a fly ass guy and I'm free and I'm genuine, you know what I'm saying? Like I turned it into a compliment. So can't nobody like call me a fag and be like, oh, you stupid fag. I'm like, I know, motherfucker. I know I'm stupid shit. I know I'm a motherfucker fag. I don't, you know, shit. That's just how I am. You know, I had to flip the script on that. Like, and as for that, like, why I did that? Like, it's the same type of topic, like, where uh, black people switched up uh, the, the N word, you know? Like, it's the same type of thing. Like, I flipped the word to something else. It means something else. You know what I'm saying? Words don't have nothing but the power that the user says behind it. You know what I'm saying? So, I flipped the word. So, uh, that's basically what the fag movement is. Basically, like, the, to stop the uh, word being used as a gay bashing word, turning it into a more positive word, you know. That's basically why I did that. Um, hold on, I got some questions that people ask. That was it. Why, why am I doing the fag movement? I already told you that, basically, because... I ain't, want, I ain't want to be called a fag as in like somebody saying it to be rude so I switched it up you know what I'm saying my voice sound crazy because I just woke up my bad y'all but uh <clears throat> somebody asked what's my thoughts on religions and being gay and all that well I'm going to tell you like this um I don't really have no religion but um like for everybody else like if God didn't want you that way then why, why is it in your plans you know like I didn't I didn't want to be gay, like, I ain't gonna lie, that's why I ain't come out, because I was like, hopefully it'll go away, hopefully it'll go away, you know, I didn't want to be gay, so shit, like, I never came out, because I ain't feel like I should have been gay, you know, but, uh, it wasn't my, like, I couldn't control it, so, you know, if God didn't want me gay, why, why, why am I gay, you know, that's basically how I feel about the situation, so I feel like it ain't no sin to me, you know what I'm saying, so, all that, that's irrelevant. So basically, I'm saying, be yourself. If God didn't want you that way, then why is you that way, you know? It ain't like you just, I ain't like I just happened to come out like, damn, I'm finna go, I'm finna go get that dude right there. Like, that wasn't nothing like that, you know? It was, like, it, <laughs> there wasn't no choice. It happened, you know what I'm saying? But uh, somebody said, how do I feel about these awkward stares in public? I don't care about none of that, you know? You can look at me. I, I I love being looked at. I don't care. Like before I came out, like I started wearing skinny jeans. Like before I even heard of new boys or any of that. Like in Cali, I didn't even know people in Cali was wearing skinnies. I knew my white guys and my skaters was wearing. I know skaters was wearing skinny jeans, but like as for wearing skinnies, neon bright skinnies and all that, I was the first person wearing skinnies in, in Lafayette. I was the first person doing it. I was the first person wearing skinnies. I was the first person wearing. Uh, what's some things called? I don't even remember. Uh, what's them things called? Shit. 
I don't even know, but them little straps that go around, I can't remember right now, shit. <laughs> but, uh, like I said, I'm the first person that was wearing skinnies in Lafayette that was black, and I was rapping, and I was still on that whole other negative, I was living negative, but I was still wearing skinnies. I was wearing, I was going to Chicago wearing skinnies in the hood. I didn't care. I was wearing skinnies, so I was getting looked anywhere I went. I was getting looked that crazy, so... Basically, like, you can look at me all the way you want to. You can ass stalk me all you want to. I don't care. You know, I'm ratchet. You can look at me. I already feel like a superstar. You feel me? But, uh, basically, I did this video, like, to tell people, like, what I'm doing. I'm finna start doing some type of little video, blog, thing like that. Because, like, there's too much discrimination. Like, this hip-hop industry biased as hell. Like, I had to stop claiming, like, the people I was working with because I was gay. They ain't want their image messed up. But, like, since I came out, shit, I've been, like, I've been getting, like, a lot of support. Like, people paying for features, people paying for shows. I don't even pay for shows no more. You know what I'm saying? So, I ain't even tripping about all that. Everything happens for a reason. Everything gonna fall in place. You know what I'm saying? Domino effect. You feel what I'm saying? But, uh, as for the video and all that, like, Obama supporting gay marriage, and then I just seen something that um that Jay Z supporting gay marriage, like so basically like since they supporting it now, people wanna wanna look at it now, you know what I'm saying? It took it took somebody like that to motherfucking get somebody's attention, like to actually support humanity, you know what I'm saying? People can't control that, like how you gonna judge somebody? You know, I just did a freestyle yesterday called No Discrimination, like. You can't, and it's still racism too. That's another thing that, so it's all terrible. You know what I'm saying? Like this world need to like get on some, get on a whole next level thing. Like that's all in the past. Like stop living in the old days. You know what I'm saying? It's a new age. It's a new generation. Like you gonna see black people with white people. You gonna see white girls dating black guys. You gonna see a black guy dating a black guy. So what? You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's life. And yeah, I got a white boyfriend. And you know what I'm saying? What is it? What's that got to do with how I rap? You know what I'm saying? I can spit some. I, I can. I could probably out rap most of these mainstream artists. You know what I'm saying? And that's just keeping it 100. I'm just. I'm not trying to be negative or knock anybody's uh rapping skills or anything like that. But like, I feel like there ain't too many that's messing with me. Like that's just how I feel. And I just went positive. So like, all these negative verses. Like I probably got like a hundred negative hooks. You know what I'm saying? That I'm not even going to use now. You know what I'm saying? Whip beats to them. That I'm probably not even going to record now. So I'm sitting on tracks. You know what I'm saying? I'm sitting on probably about 200 tracks. Like, for real, to be honest. Like, people out here, they, like, saying they can't be no gay rapper. Like, what's the problem with that? It don't matter. Like, sexuality don't matter. It's my craft, my creativity that you need to be worried about. You need to worry about who I like. You don't need to worry about what I like. You know what I'm saying? You need to worry about how I rap and how you feel when you listen to one of my tracks. That's how you need to feel. You know what I'm saying? So when you hear my tracks, I'm not rapping for just LGBT. I'm not just rapping for the gays, the straights, the trans, and all them. I'm rapping for the world. I'm rapping for humanity. I'm rapping for real people, real humans. You know what I'm saying? Y'all talking about some real nigga shit. You ain't supposed to be gay. What? You know what I'm saying? Real nigga shit, you not supposed to lie. You know what I'm saying? How fuck is you talking about? So I'm just saying, like, I'm finna start this little young video blog. And I'm about to turn it up, y'all. It's by year. It's 2013, like, though, like. So I ain't even tripping if I don't even get big this year. 2013, like, I'll be big next year. You feel me? That's how I'm, that's how I'm so futuristic. Ow! Oh! You know what I'm saying? That's my new little track called me. No discrimination. I'm just gonna let y'all hear the hook. Turn up, turn up, turn up. And I'm gonna switch to the end of my verse. You feel me, you know what I'm saying? Like, all the discrimination, all this hatred stuff, that shit gotta stop, you know?
This is my first little video blog, you know what I'm saying? I'm finna keep it coming. Keep the questions coming. You got anything to say, you know what I'm saying? Any hip-hop artist got anything to say? Anybody major got anything to say, you know what I'm saying? Like, holla at me, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm bringing change, and y'all gonna see me. Y'all gonna see me. I ain't finna stop now. I done came too far. I ain't gonna stop now. You know what I'm saying? And like Scrappy Mad that he got on track with me and all that because I'm gay. And you should be happy that you on the track with me. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even tripping. You know what I'm saying? I made that track hot. You feel what I'm saying? I'm Rachi. You know what I'm saying? So salute to everybody that's supporting the movement. Shout out all my supporters, all my overseas people. Shout out to y'all. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Teamwork. Shout out Fan Movement. Shout out that Drought Fam. Shout out OMG, shout out Ocean Game, shout out Cartier, you know what I'm saying? Young guys, salute, bro. You know what I'm saying? Based in the streets, you know what I'm saying? Lil B, shout out to Lil B all day, you know what I'm saying? Like, he made it cool, you know what I'm saying, to be yourself. Now, I'm, I'm taking it to the next level, you know what I'm saying? I'm based, but I'm fagged out, you feel me? That's what I'm doing, you know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to copy Lil B or none of that. I don't rap nothing like Lil B. We on two different pages, but that, that's big bro. That's bass, you know what I'm saying? And I started out bass, you know what I'm saying? And it made me go to the next level. I'm thinking so infinite, you know what I'm saying? I'm on a whole nother thing. So subscribe. Add me on Facebook, do all that. Follow me on Twitter. All that. Salute y'all. This comes from within. The outer world is not the target. So why should you look at me like I'm a Martian? This world is cold, but it'll get warmer. Why just be myself considered paranormal? I've struggled all my life, but now I'm feeling great. Let's annihilate the hate between lesbians.